For the people of Puerto Rico, what would you ask of them? At this time, what would you hope that they would be aiming for in their uh, in their action? And then the second part to that would be to ask if, if for people here in the United States, people that are outside of Puerto Rico, uh, what would you ask as far as support, as far as what we can do to to help out in this cause? And I guess I could ask Natalie first. I think that what we could ask for would be support and attention to what's been going on. And I think we're going to make a camp soon near Fortaleza. I'm not sure how successful we'll be with that, but we're going to try. And once that's up, once that is set up by the citizens, that they should probably donate so that they can keep the fight going and the protest going until the governor resigns. Mm, okay. Okay. Inaru? I would say, at least I would ask the people of Puerto Rico, to um, never give up, to not give up on this situation. Um, I would ask the people in Puerto Rico to believe in themselves. We, ones that are right now, all of us who survived Maria, we went through a lot of stuff. The reason a lot of people came out to the streets and protesting, one of the main reasons is because maybe during Maria, a lot of us learned how to be resilient, how to be resistant, how to resist a big quantity of anxiety and, you know, having a situation in which we don't know what's going to happen next, but we keep moving on. And maybe, you know, we learned a lot from the situation we had during Maria because our government, uh, of our incompetent government. So now we're using those skills that we learned And of course, I'm not romanticizing it. We learn them to survive. Um, yes. All those skills we learn to survive, we're using them now. And you can see it in people's faces. People do not, see, do not seem afraid. Um, I ask of you um, to always be resilient, to be resistant, and to not believe that after he resigns, it's over, because it's not. There's still a lot of things we can do for our country to, you know, for, for our island to make it all better. And all the corrupt people, administration. Yes, all the corrupt administration. <laughs> And for the people in the U.S., I would ask, first of all, to believe in us, to support us. Um, also, to not think that they are our saviors. They can see right now that we are doing our best effort to save ourselves. The country realized that we don't need anyone to save us. Um, and of course, I don't, I'm not like bashing people in the U.S. right now, but I'm just saying that it has been a tendency to be like, oh, there needs to be intervention from the U.S. so that Puerto Rican can be saved. No, no. We, we have learned that from Hurricane Maria that, yes, a lot of people in the U.S. try to help us, but, you know, there's an administration in the way that didn't help at all. The bureaucracy, yes. Like, oh. the Unidos for Puerto Rico. Oh. I'm not yeah. sure if you read up on that, that the First Lady was involved in the fundraising efforts for Hurricane Maria. And it's actually being investigated in an FBI case for corruption. 